When Shaul, though hunting Dawid, saw yet again that Dawid had spared his life, this time in the hill of Hakilah, Shaul said to Dawid, Blessed be thou, my son Dawid, thou shalt both do mightily and shalt surely prevail. So Dawid went his way and Shaul returned to his place, of the books called Shamuel, the first, chapter 27. And Dawid said in his heart, I shall now perish one day by the hand of Shaul. There is nothing better for me than that I should escape into the land of the Polish team, and Shaul will despair of me to seek me any more in all the borders of Yisrael. So shall I escape out of his hand. And Dawid arose and passed over, he and the six hundred men that were with him, to Achish, the son of Maok, king of Gut. And Dawid dwelt with Achish at Gut, he and his men, every man with his household, even Dawid with his two women, Achinoam the Yezerahelit, and Abigail the Karamelit, Nabal's woman. And it was told Shaul that Dawid was fled to Gut, and he was not adding to seek him again. And Dawid said to Achish, If now I have found favour in thy eyes, let them give me a place in one of the cities in the country that I may dwell there. For why should thy servant dwell in the royal city with thee? Then Achish gave him Thiqlug that day, for what reason Thiqlug pertaineth to the kings of Yehuda to this day? And the number of the days that Dawid dwelt in the country of the Polish team was a full year and four months. And Dawid and his men went up and made a raid upon the Geshuri and the Gerzi and the Amaleki, for those nations were the inhabitants of the land who were of old, as thou goest to Shur, even to the land of Mithraim. And Dawid smote the land, and saved neither man nor woman alive, and took away the sheep and the oxen, and the donkeys and the camels, and the apparel. And he returned, and came to Archish. And Archish said, Against whom have ye made a raid today? And Dawid said, Against the south of Yehuda, and against the south of the Rahmaheli, and against the south of the Qaini. And Dawid saved neither man nor woman alive to bring them to Gut, saying, Lest they should tell of us, saying, So did Dawid, and so hath been his manner all the while he hath dwelt in the country of the Polish team. And Achish believed Dawid, saying, He hath made his people Yisrael utterly to abhor him. Therefore he shall be my servant for ever. And it was in those days that the Polish team gathered their hosts together for warfare, to fight with Yisrael. And Achish said to Dawid, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out with me in the host, thou and thy men. And Dawid said to Achish, Therefore thou shalt know what thy servant will do. And Achish said to Dawid, Therefore will I make thee keeper of my head for ever.